Hello people, in this video we want to look at the forensic topic Datura poisoning. Okay, so please pay attention here. It is also called as roadside poison. And the active principles which are there in Datura, this is the Datura plant. So you will see it lot growing in, uh, uh, in the road, right? So it's called roadside poison, Datura poisoning. Active principles here are uh, hyoscine. Hyoscine actually you have heard as a drug also, right? Hyoscine. Then hyos, hyos, Hyoscine, hyoscine, hyoscyamine, hyoscyamine, then atropine. Oh, atropine comes from this. Wow, atropine. Now, the mechanism of action of um, these active principles, how do these, this datura poison, how do they act? Stimulation of higher and motor centers in the brain followed by depression and paralysis, especially of medullary centers. So, it starts with the stimulation. It starts with stimulation okay stimulation of the brain okay higher in motor centers followed by followed by depression so basically there is cns stimulation followed by depression and paralysis especially of the medullary centers so depression and paralysis especially of the medullary centers okay medullary centers now what is the fatal dose fatal dose for this uh, datura fatal dose is 50 to 100 seeds so if you take 50 to 100 seeds of this datura you will die let's look at the seeds wait so guys pay attention here this is the these are the datura seeds uh, actually, I have played with, a, as a kid, I have played with these kind of plants. I never knew they are so poisonous that 50 to 100 seeds will kill. Wow. Now, let us look at the clinical features. Uh, here, basically, it is atropine type, right? So, you definitely know that it is anticholinergic. You'll be able to quickly say what the clinical features will be, correct? Dryness of mouth with nausea, vomiting, dysphagia, dilated pupils, dry, hot skin, uh, drunken gait, delirium, drowsiness, death, so easy now basically how will you decide okay so let us bring back that man who whom we have wait you remember our uh, receptor location video so this should help you know actually we are going too much of detail uh, pharmacological detail not required however we are giving some anticholinergic right anticholinergic means it will be blocking all the cholinergic receptors so let us see what will happen so definitely there is no salivation dryness of mouth will be there dilated pupils will be there so it is going to cause dilated pupils, then dry hot skin. Why? Because there is not going to be any sweating, dry hot skin. Drunken gait because the CNS is going to be stimulated and then depressed. There is going to be delirium. Then drowsiness, uh, obviously because he is uh, going to be in depression. Then death due to respiratory failure. Why respiratory failure? Can you write all atropine like effects here? Respiratory failure. Okay, because the medullary centers, they are all depressed. Okay. I'll leave this. I think this diagram is not required for you. Going back here. So we are looking at the clinical features. We are done with the 8 Ds. Next we are moving on to the treatment. How will you treat this guy? Basically you will do normal uh, symptomatic treatment. Gastric lavage, emetics so that you can... Uh, Anti-emetics, right? Anti-emetics. So oh, emetics. You are going to give emetics so that he vomits. Okay, okay. So you're going to give emetics so that he vomits. Then you're going to do gastric lavage. Then how many people are sleeping? Wake up. Are you sleeping baby? No, no. We are looking at what? Tell. We are looking at datura poisoning. Very good. Now what are we looking at in datura poisoning? Treatment. Yes. So we finished emetics, gastric lavage. Then pilocarpine nitrate you will give pilocarpine they are saying then short acting barbiturates to control uh, delirium barbiturates to control delirium are you able to see or it is very small for you to see barbiturates to control delirium then Specific treatment, what will you give? Antidote will be physostigmine. That is a cholinergic, right? Uh, 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 Anticholinesterase it is. So, uh, physostigmine, if you give uh, 0.5 mg IV or IM single dose, you can give. Okay, specific treatment is 
physostigmine. This actually physostigmine crosses uh, blood brain barrier, correct? So you are going to give 0.5 mg IV IM single dose, okay? Then post mortem appearance, how will this body appear if they have taken datura poison? There will be asphyxial features. The seeds or fragments of seeds can be found in stomach. Slight inflammation of stomach and edematous lung will be there. So asphyxial features and uh, edematous lungs will be there. Other than that, what else they have written are fillers like seeds of this you can see in the stomach etc. Slight inflammation of stomach etc. <clears throat> Medical legal importance, basically it is a homicidal poisoning. Um, homicidal is rare, sorry. It is suicidal. Suicidal is common. Suicidal, okay, they know it will kill, is it? Accidental can happen and they are saying that uh, homicidal is rare, okay. This is an aphrodisiac, that means it increases sexual desire, aphrodisiac and abortifacient, abortifacient, that means they can use it to induce abortion. What's the spelling? Facient, correct only, right? Abortifacient. Okay, continuing with the medical, medical legal importance of uh, Datura guys, Datura poison, look at this. So we are looking at Datura poison, it is a stupefying agent, so basically people can get stupefied and then they can get robbed. So criminals can use it, uh, you know, they will use the seeds, crushed seeds, they will mix it with the food or drink and stupefy the victim and then uh, they will rob them or kidnap them or etc, etc. So basically they can also be used as fumes in, uh, uh, in these incense sticks, interesting. It's called roadside poison, already we have covered that here for you, roadside poison. Legal responsibility, act committed by a person suffering from delirium due to datura poisoning is not criminally responsible for his act because obviously he is insane at that point. So, so here we had to add some things, stupefying agent. So they can mix it with food and drink or even in incense sticks. They can rob and kidnap them if they are stupefied. And then uh, a person who is uh, in person who is insane, insanity if they have, due to whatever, okay, due to whatever cause it may be, he is not criminally responsible for the activity he has done during this delirium. not criminally responsible for his act done committed during this time okay so that is all about datura poisoning so we are uh, done with datura poisoning we will meet you in the next video this is datura i have played with it as a kid i think something like this so anyways um, datura poisoning remember this beautiful flower it really looks very nice so that's Datura and these are the seeds. They may give it as a spotter for you. This could be dark black, it could be black, brown, etc. So look at it in very detail. So these are the Datura seeds, okay. They are really tiny actually. Okay, so we'll um, meet in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.